Yes, yes, more FIA news. Susie Wolf has filed a complaint against the FIA. And this because a criminal complaint against the FIA over allegations made against her at the end of last year. So the F1 Academy Managing Director, who is also the wife of Mercedes boss Toto Wolf, they found herself at the centre of a media storm in December after the FIA announced it was looking into a potential conflict of interest between them. They announced it, remember. So this followed a media report suggesting that confidential information had been shared between the pair and that teams had complained to the FIA. Both these counts were subsequently strongly denied, or whoops the daisy, and the matter emerged in public after the FIA issued a statement saying the FIA is aware of media speculation centred on the allegation of information of a confidential nature being passed on to an F1 team principal from a member of FOM personnel. The FIA compliance department is looking into the matter. While the Wolves were not named in the statement, it was obvious who the governing body was referring to and their identity was also briefed to the media. But in the wake of what was, let's be fair, the, one of the first of many stories in the off-season, um, a huge backlash over the matter, which included all nine of Mercedes' rivals stating they had not complained. Just 48 hours after its initial statement, it said the matter was close and there was no case to answer and that things did not even warrant a formal investigation. The uh, climb down, though, was not enough for it was not enough for Susie Wolf in particular, who felt that there had been a huge reputational damage done by the FIA in electing him, in electing to go public, stating that it was assessing the matter. Now, writing on social media at the time, she said, and I and we quote here from motorsport.com, I might have been collateral damage in an unsuccessful attack on somebody else or the target of a failed attempt to discredit me personally. But I have worked too hard to have my reputation called into question by an unfounded press release. Now, there's also been intrigues about the intrigue about the source of the original media report triggered the FIA action in the first place and whether it had come from within the governing body itself. Now, with no public apology from the FIA over its handling of what took place, Susie Wolfe has taken the steps in going to the French courts in a bid to get the bottom of the aspersions that were cast. Now, in a social media post ahead of the Australian Grand Prix, she said, I can confirm that I have personally filed a criminal complaint in the French courts on the 4th of March in relation to the statements made about me by the, about me by the FIA last December. There has still not been any transparency hmm, or accountability, again, in relation to the conduct of the FIA and, and its personnel in the matter. I feel more than ever it is important to stand up, call out improper behaviour and make sure people are held to account. Whilst some may um, think silence absolves them from responsibility, it does not. Now, fresh intrigue into the FIA's handling of December's events were thrown up earlier this week and the governing body announced that in such circumstances, <coughs> it was policy to keep the matters behind closed doors. Amid the FIA Ethics Committee and Compliance Officer looking into a spate of recent complaints, including a couple surrounding President Mohammed Ben Salayem, which we just spoke to you about, had been cleared, it was stated that it was not policy to reveal details in public. In relation to recent events, it said at the FIA inquiries and complaints are received and managed by the compliance officer and the ethics committee where appropriate. They said both bodies operate autonomously, guaranteeing strict confidentiality throughout the process. As a consequence, we are, and in general, we are unable to confirm the receipt of any specific complaint and it's unlikely that we will be able to provide further comment on the complaints that we may receive from parties. This stance will prompt fresh questions about the approach it took with handling the wolf matter. Because as we know, they don't want to comment on it, but they happily named wolf. But they haven't interestingly, you know, well, allegedly named wolf, but they haven't named anything about this Horner. You know, back in February, there's been a complaint, potentially two, maybe more, in relation to Christian Horner. Um, the FIA, I mean, you just need to go back to Abu Dhabi 21, the way that whole thing was handled with Michael Massey. Well, whatever, whatever side you're on, the FIA at the moment is not fit for purpose in terms of it cannot communicate very well. It can't communicate with its partners. It cannot communicate with the Formula One fans. And if it wasn't for the F1 fans, I would make a really strong argument. There would be no FIA, there would be no FIA because the FIA gets most of its money from Formula One. Should Formula One get rid of the FIA, I think that is a question. I don't think they will, but that's certainly a question that they need to ask themselves. I mean, look at the FIA at the moment. They have been an absolute joke. 
And in terms of putting anyone into disrepute, the way they handle themselves, they're putting themselves into disrepute, running a sport um, and one of the biggest sports in the world. So they do need to take a good, good little look at themselves, don't they? But anyway, if you made it to the end, subscribe. That will be fantastic. That will keep me really, really happy. And stay tuned to the hot lap for more F1 news going into the Australian Grand Prix. Thank you very much.